everybody. Um, well, I got a, uh, what did I call? John 7 and 38. And then uh, we're going to get Matthew 15 and 24. John 7 and 38, bro. Check this out, sis. This is John 7 and verse 38. This is what Christ said. That he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So I can't believe on Christ however I want to. Like he a donkey or he's, he got, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 missiles coming out of his eyes. No, I gotta believe on Christ the way the Bible say he is. That's right. And the Bible does say he's a black man, right? The Bible does say he's a black man. We can show y'all that if y'all don't believe. So if Christ is a black man, who is that? I don't know that man. Right, right. That, you know, <laughs> right. That's, that's called, hey, well, do me a favor. Do me a favor, step on that man. Step on that, sis. <laughs> there, you there you go, there you go. What you do, sis? Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful now. You sure you want to step on that? You just told me to. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I'm just seeing if you had a, a, a stronghold in your mind, even though we're going to show you that Christ is black, you think he's still white or that guy. That guy is a pervert. That guy is the antichrist. And, and the white man gave us that picture so that we can believe on anybody other than our God. Right? Other than our God. Matthew 15, 24. Let's see what Christ came to do book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24 uh -huh. but he answered and said I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel who we sent for again I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel the lost sheep of the house of Israel is who Christ is sent for do y'all know who the lost sheep are you feel like it's you okay well look because we, we've been scattered everywhere we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel the children of Israel are the so-called, on the Western Hemisphere, are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American people. The Negroes over here, are we are the tribe of Judah. We are called the Jews. Do you have a precept or anything? Um, I gave you Matthew 15 and 24. Um, Y'all already kind of knew that Christ looked like you. Matter of fact, let me start there. Let me get Revelation 1. We're gonna show you that what Christ really looked like according to the Bible. Because remember, uh, you gotta believe on Christ according to what the Bible say. So watch this. And all we doing is giving y'all ammunition. So you can say, I learned that Christ really is a black man. So white man, you can't come to me and tell me that that's Christ. You can't come to telling me that, that Christ look like everybody. He don't. Check this out. This is Revelation 1 and 13. Huh? In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man. The son of man is Christ's nickname. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. He had on a, 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 a garment all the way down here. A girded about the paps with a golden girdle. Golden belt on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Who got wool hair on the earth? Who got wool hair on the earth? Both of y'all. I'm mean, both of y'all, yeah. Who who has wool hair on the earth, sis? Huh? What kind of hair you got? The black man got wool hair. That's right, that's right, that's right. Huh. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his eyes like a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto fine brass. What, what color is brass, sis? Huh? Brass. What color is brass? Like that type of metal. What color is that? One more time, I can't hear you. Speak up. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Look. Brown. Brown. brown grass is brown. His feet like on the fine brass as if they had burned in a furnace. What color are they if you burn it in a furnace? There you it's go. black. Right, right, right. There you right. Go. And his voice does as the sound of many waters. So we just showed you that Christ got white wool hair. His skin is burnt black. Burnt, you know what I mean? It's burnt brown. It's black. Dark skinned black man, right? And his eyes are red, and his voice like the voice of many waters. Christ wouldn't need a microphone if he was out here today. He speak real deep. Does that man look like he speak deep? Uh, does he have white wool hair? Is his skin burnt bronze? Ah, so that's called the Antichrist. He's the opposite of everything we said. If the Bible said Christ got wool hair, he don't. He got burnt bronze skin, he don't. He don't got red eyes. He's the Antichrist. That's right. We have been believing in the Antichrist all our lives. Can you believe that? We was going. We was almost going to uh, get excluded from heaven because we would believe in Christ 
was a white man, but he's really a black man, right? That's that's crazy, ain't it? That's wicked. But let me, I'm gonna let y'all go, but let me show y'all something. Now that we know, understand what Christ is and what Christ came to do, can you give me uh, Matthew 5 and 19? And then we're gonna uh, and get uh, Leviticus um, 11 real quick. Let me give him some law and then we're gonna let y'all go. I ain't gonna hold y'all real quick. Just a couple of scriptures real quick. Tanzania. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Check this out, sis. Book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 19. Uh -huh. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Is that 519, Matthew 519? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my bad. I thought I was off. Uh, Matthew, chapter 5, verse 19. Start at 18, Baba Kishai. 18. 17, 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. Christ has not come to take away the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Uh -huh. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till so all be fulfilled. Uh -huh. Verse 19. Whoever therefore shall break one of the least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. He's telling you don't break the commandments of God. Give me uh, uh, Matthew 19 and 16, Baba Kishai. Don't break the commandments of God, right? That's what Christ came to do. Um, you got Leviticus 11. Can you give me uh, um, Acts 5? Keep stay there in Acts 5 and 29 real quick. Why did I go to Acts 5 and 29? Oh, oh, to show what, yeah, yeah, what he came to do. Come on, check this out, sis. Matthew 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? Do y'all want eternal life? Do y'all want to go to heaven? You do, right? This is what the, the dude asked Christ. What's up, King? Shalom, King, come build with me when you get a chance. Hey, this is what, this is what a brother asked Christ. How can I get eternal life? How can I get into the kingdom of heaven? Let's see what Christ tell him to do. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. There's only one as good as the most high God. Right? That is God. But if thou will enter into life. But you wanna if you want to get into heaven, listen. Keep the commandments. Do what to the commandments? Keep the, the commandments. Did he say some of the commandments? Keep the, the commandments. commandments. Keep the commandments. If you want to go to heaven, you gotta do what, sis? What the Bible says? I can't hear you. Keep the commandments. What about you, sis? What would it would it say? Keep the commandments, right? right? Keep the commandments. You ask, what did Christ come to do? Real quick, because I know I'm, I'm, I'm everywhere. <laughs> this is Acts 5 and 29. Uh -huh. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. God told us to do the commandments, right? We ought to obey him rather than the white man or anybody else, right? The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted with his right hand. Him, hold on, Salaki. Adonijah, come get these boys, dog. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Rolling their eyes, all touch stuff. It's all good. Come on. Acts 5 and 20, uh, Salaki. Um, uh, read, read started 30 one more time. Check this out, sis. I'll let y'all go. I'm, I'm just showing you. You asked a question. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh huh. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Christ is a prince and a savior. To, for to give repentance to Israel. He gave repentance to Israel, right? And forgiveness of sin. And forgiveness of sins. Who is repentance for again, sis? It's for people in Tanzania. Read that last one, 31, one more time. Check it for, out. For to give repentance to Israel. To Tanzania? To Israel. To uh, Lonsdale. To Israel. To Israel. The right. Israelites get repentance and for and forgiveness of sin. And forgiveness when we have sin, sin, Christ, that's what Christ came to do. He came to give repentance and forgiveness of sins to the Israelites only. Not to anybody else. And I know I was saying Tanzania, but I'm, I'm saying you're not a Tanzanian if you're a child of God. Israelites are in Tanzania. Some yeah, of them are. Remnant of Israel, right? stay there. You could be an Israelite. You stop. You humbled yourself. You're listening. I don't know if you feel what we're feeling because it's a spirit. If your spirit coincides with the spirit that we're bringing out, you could be a child of God. Um, Acts uh, uh, Leviticus 11. Salaki. Leviticus 11 and then um, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And we're going to close out. Check this out. This is Leviticus 11 and 7. Now, remember Christ said, keep the commandments if you want to go to heaven. We're going to give you all a couple of commandments real quick. Do you all know any commandments? 
you know any commandments? Thou shalt not kill one. Huh? You don't know any? That's all good. Uh, uh, what you got? We got one more in you, sis. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not steal. Come. Yeah. You don't know none. Thou shalt not commit adultery. You know what adultery is? Yeah, yeah. We can't do that. We can't sleep with another woman's husband and and vice versa. You know what I mean? I can't sleep with another man's wife. You know, can't commit adultery. I can't have no other God before my God. The Most High God got to be number one. So if I love playing video games all the time, eat, sleep, and, 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 and do do video games, oh, I, I, I'm sinning. That's a sin. That's the first commandment. I can't have no other God before my God. Food can be a God. Another person can be a God. Money can be a God. Money is a God. Yeah. Mammon. People worship money more than they worship the Most High God. They'd rather count money and think about how they can get money rather than reading this Bible. But they can't get in the kingdom of heaven like that. That's a sin. So we're going to give y'all another commandment, and I'm going to let y'all go real quick. You got to go. Right, this is Leviticus 11 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron and said unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the Tanzanians. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto the Negroes and the black people over here that call themselves niggas. Speak unto the children of Israel, uh -huh. saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the earth, uh, that all the beasts that are upon the earth. So the, the, the Bible is going to tell us what meat we can eat, right? And what meat we can't eat. We're going to jump down to verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine, though he divide the hoof. Do y'all know what swine is? You don't know what swine is? You never heard of the word swine? Swine. I'll pick it up for us, Doc. Bible Kishai. Swine is that big one is under there where it say unclean? What's that big animal right there under that? That's a pig or a hog. The Bible call that swine, right? Let's see if we're able to eat that. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he chew up not the cud. Right. He is unclean to you. The Bible said he's unclean. He's like a big rat. We cannot eat that. He's supposed to clean the earth. He eat the disposed and waste and everything. He clean up. He's a vacuum cleaner. You ain't going to say, hey, I'm hungry. And then open up the vacuum cleaner bag and start eating it. Dump it on your plate, right? Would you do that? No, nah, you wouldn't do that, right? That's what you're doing when you're eating a pig. Come on. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Uh-huh. And their carcass, which meaning that their dead body, right. shall ye not touch. We can't touch dead pigs. They are unclean to you. They unclean, it means it's a sin unto us. Verse 9, these shall ye eat that are in the waters, mm -hmm. whatsoever have fins and scales. Anything that got fins and scales in the water, we can eat it. Like uh, uh, trout, uh, whiting, salmon, you know what I mean? We can eat that. But do y'all know anything that don't got fins and scales in the water? Octopus, there you go, sis. What, what else? Squid, right? What about crab, lobster, shrimp? Those are things that we can't eat. Those are uh, uh, catfish. That's wicked. It's a sin to eat it. Shark, dolphin. Shark and dolphin. Yeah. Check it in out. the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers. Huh? Them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, and all that move in the waters, and any living thing that is in the waters, shall be an abomination unto you. An abomination means you should hate it. You should be tested. Mm -hmm. okay. Whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. Kind, that's an abomination to us. We gotta stop eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. We can't eat nothing on that bottom row. You know what I mean? We can't eat rabbit. We can't eat cat or dog, mice. Believe it or not, people eat that stuff. Mm -hmm. Spiders and stuff like that. You know, the, the, the crab and lobster, those are big spiders in the ocean. They're just a big spider. Yep. You know what I mean? We wouldn't eat that. You get bats. You know what I mean? We're not supposed to eat none of that type of stuff. Right? Snake. We can't eat none of that. That's a sin for us to eat it because we're Israelites. We are God's chosen people. This, I'm going to leave y'all on this, um, I'm gonna leave on this um, Bible verse right here. And if y'all got any questions, you can ask Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Now that you know that you're an Israelite, hopefully, what does the Lord want us to do, right? Now that we understand who we are, what does the Lord want us to do? 
What does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. You gotta fear the Lord and be fearing the Lord is meaning I'm not gonna go back to doing what I was doing. I'm not gonna say, I can eat the pork sometimes. Ain't nobody looking. No, I gotta fear the Lord because he'll kill you. He'll give you diabetes, high blood pressure, high sugar. You have to get your legs cut off. All that type of stuff because you're eating stuff that you're not supposed to eat. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Uh -huh. And his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. That's right. That's what you got to do. We as Israelites have to keep the commandments of God. We can't go back to doing the stuff that we was doing. We can't kill. We can't steal. We can't ki commit adultery, right? Y'all already know them. And we gotta make. We can't put nothing above the Lord our God. But we are Israelites, and so we gotta we gotta be like that. We gotta we gotta be. God just brought something out before you go. This is the last one for you because what he did was he taught you something that you have to understand what he taught you. This is what's going to save you. Remember everything that he just said to you and get it on this last precept. Right? This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 1. More, so, moreover, brother, and I declare to you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received and wherein ye stand. You have received it. He preached, he taught it to you just now. By which ye have ye are saved. That's how you get saved right now for what he just taught you. He just brought this thing out to you that's gonna save you. Watch it. If ye keep in memory uh -huh. what I preached unto you, uh -huh. unless ye have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. That's he right. just brought that whole thing out to sum it all up for you, sis. That's how you don't forget what you just what was just taught to you, right? Because right? that's what's going to save you. This gospel right here, he just brought out to you. That's how we got to save you. That's right. Shalom. 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 Hey, nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet y'all. Y'all be safe. Remember, you Israelites keep the commandments. Can you scan this channel real quick for us? Oh, they, they got the flyer. Channel. They got the flyer. Oh, they can scan. They can scan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then, they, then they can get the uh, channel. Y'all can cut, cut, cut. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. they know. I thought you were recording, man.